Joe Chicho. Here's another puzzle I saw yesterday that I still don't truly understand. If you buy a bat and a ball for $1.10 pounds, the bat costs exactly one pound more than the ball. Okay. How much does the ball cost? And then Joe says, my original answer was that dollar ten minus one equals dollar. So the ball uh, must cost, um, but that would mean the ball. Uh, but apparently, answer yeah, it, that would mean the ball would only be um, 0.9 pounds, right? If the ball cost or the yeah if the ball cost uh, the bat would be 0.9 pounds so the way you would do it so the way you would do it is this a ball and a bat a ball plus a bat cost 110 okay bat minus ball equals one the cost of the bat minus the ball right cost one right? so all you got to do is substitute do a little substitution uh, so I'm gonna take this so this is your first equation this is your second equation always always remember this the number of variables you have that's how many equations you need to be able to solve a problem right so if you have one unknown, you need one equation to solve it. If you've got two unknowns, you need two equations to solve it. Three unknowns, three equations, etc., etc., etc. So you can just bring this over. Whoop, go minus ball. Okay. Now the bat is now 1.0 plus minus the ball. Minus the ball. And what you can do is, that's the same bat as this, right? So you can take this and sub it in for the bat. So sub two into one, equation two into one, because this is our modified equation two, right? Now you got a ball plus 1.0 minus, what? I'm doing something wrong here, bat, Oh, because I'm in dingling. This becomes a plus, right? If the ball comes over, that's a negative. That's a plus. Plus a ball is equal to 1.10. I usually use x and y variables, but I'm using this because uh, if this was a bat and a glove, I would put b for bat and g for glove, but they're both bbs, right? Uh, bat, ba, ba. <laughs> they're both ba. Yeah, thank you, antisocialist behavior. So this becomes 1.0 plus two balls is equal to 1.01 .01 because a ball plus a ball is two balls, right? Grab this guy, bring it over, minus 1.0. So two balls is equal to 0 0.1 and then divide by two, divide by two. So ball is equal to 0 0.05. That's how much the ball costs. And the bat would be, therefore, the bat would be 1.1 minus 0 0.05, which equals 1.05. That's how much the bat would cost. <laughs> you notice I didn't write down the S. Captain Ranger, first time chat. Hey, Chicho, been following your content from France. Salutations, France. And never had a chance to come by and thank you for your outstanding work out there. You guys enjoy the math. Need those quiet a lot in uh, product design myself. Cheers. You use those, use those quite a lot in product design myself. Cheers. Cheers, Ranger. Thank you very much, Captain Ranger, 
for popping in from France. Salutations. Bon bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, I took French in high school, but man, I don't remember any of it. I cheated most of it. Cheated most of the way through. And this is, by the way, this is a common problem that uh, you encounter. Uh, one of the generic problems that they give in high school anyway, or as a puzzle because it's instinctive people say oh something costs 1.1 and one has to be a dollar more than the other and this one costs that how much is that oh it's a dollar no it's not or a pound it's not right.